I know this segment here, mm. I'm not gonna be able to outdo him. Nah, I ain't so, gonna, nah, so, I'm not even gonna so, do yeah, nothing. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna you, do my seven, yeah, we gonna do the outdo. That's fine. We no, gonna but, do the outdo. What I'm saying is, <laughs> you know I mean? I'm not gonna find energy. You know what I mean? Or, nah, or, I don't or, need or, the energy. Or, or, or the, we, my man DP two hundred one gonna create the energy. Nah, for the that's footage. fine, and that's good. I'm gonna need the footage. Yeah, I, mean? I mean, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the help behind the camera. Cause my man here, his story versus my story, ain't no need to listen to my story. You know what I mean? Cause he gonna get your story. But, but, but like you said though, keeping it hundred. You know, it, it didn't just, it didn't just start with the rooftop like that evening, like all day. Days it was a day like that's today. what I'm saying. Give, give us a day. Yeah. Give us a day, yeah. Kevin Childs. Back in the '80s when we in the element, the bucket hat, right. and we doing us. You know what I mean? If it was a day like today, mm. before I even got to the rooftop, I, I probably came out early that day and, and, and we ran up at some store, a bunch of us, and just bought shit that we didn't need. Just because that's what we did. You know what I mean? We, we, just waste the money support, right, right. supporting the hustle. I guess. Definitely because, because, supporting and, the and, hustle. And, and, it was always on 25th right. in our neighborhood. And, and part of it, yeah. part of it was, because when I ran up in the store, I seen you in the store. Yeah. Or, or, or one of us in the store. Yeah. So you bought 20 of something, I'm gonna buy 25 or something. You know what I mean? That's what we do. Because that's just Friendly because. competition. Right. But you know what I mean? Because we and, can and, do it. And more specifically in Harlem, that's mm -hmm. what it was. Yeah. So, you know, that day I might have came out earlier in, 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 in one car. Mm. You know, and and give them one. Give them a name so we can throw the footage. We'll get some footage. Give them a okay, name. Okay, I don't know. Man. One of your joints, huh? Okay. One of your fly joints. Uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, my BM in the morning. Mm. Okay. A Mercedes at night. There you go. You know. Uh, there you go. Or, or, or depending on what was going on. Because if I bumped into you earlier that day and we got into some banter back and forth about some bullshit, you already then I know. had I had my whole crew bring all my cars. There you and go. And we rolled back to back. <laughs> you know, up to 55th. You know what I mean? And all of them will be you know? four or five of my cars. Just, exactly. Just because. Yeah. You know what I mean? But 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 that's what Harlem felt like. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Then we would go on the rucker. You know. Uh, Pockets, you know, we wore sweatpants back then, and, and, and you had to have the pockets got monks. They had to be loaded, <laughs> so right. you know the right. pockets they got monks. Be, they had to be like that. Uh, the chain swinging, huh. you know. You know I mean? You're on one side of the court, I'm on the other side of the you court. Know? We talking shit. You, you we betting know. on dumb shit. Yeah, yeah you already and, know. You know. And we pull up to the rooftop, park on the sidewalk. Mm. You know, we jump out. Mm. You know, the, the line is around the corner down the street. Mm. We walk straight in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, big shout out to Willie Gusto. Definitely Willie Gusto. Definitely, you know what I mean? Definitely. You know Man, I mean? Tiny. Yeah. Sabrina. That's a fact. You know what I mean? The kids, so you don't forget the kids. Yeah, that's a fact. You know? you know, we walk through the door as soon as the DJ sees us. Woo! Tell him what he do. Oh, man. You know, I just see my man, my man, my man. He's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> now, what music did he say? I want to give a big shout out yeah. to my man, Kevin Charles. Yeah. Kevin Charles in the house. He's just right. pulled up out front. You know, he got that's the right. red drop top that's outside right. with the gold rims and all the way to yeah. California. Yeah. Did what he do. Oh, you see, unique out there with the wide body. You, you know what he do. See, oh, you, man, see, there's a party up in here. Yeah, then they hit the woo, woo, woo. And the lights go off and all that. Exactly. Just so you know. You know what I mean? I mean, that's how I wound up doing right. Club 2000 because I yeah. learned from the best. And like, and, and keep in mind again, you're 20-something years old, man. At this time, with all the money like in the world. you own the world. Man, yo, and I'm, so. I'm going to lie, and y'all might hate me for saying this, we're going to get back to the fly stories. <laughs> I was so ignorant and cocky and disrespectful, I met this nice young lady. You understand what I'm saying? And I go to her house, and I'm in the hallway, and I'm smoking the children. Right. You know what I mean? The mother wasn't there, she wasn't allowed to have company. So when the mother comes upstairs, she screwed up her face, talking about who, who, who's smoking in the hallway. Right. You know what I mean? So you know me. Mm. You know what I mean? I can only imagine. You know what I mean? Yo, I pay my own rent. I pay smoke, but I want <laughs> right. to smoke. Right. You told your daughter you ain't want nobody in the house. There ain't nobody going in the house. I'm smoking out here. How you doing? Right. You know what I mean? And, and I mean, but that was the arrogance and cockiness that I had that I grew out of. You know what I mean? But all that is going in the movie, so I'm gonna start promoting the movie to a roar in Harlem. Yeah, you know cool. what I mean? All that going in the movie, because I'm gonna give you unique uncut and raw. But you know, now Kev, he pulled in, got the little joint on. I used to see him on the other side, the jewel. And you know, all you can do with Kev, give him a head nod. That's all we see. did with all of them. That's it. Yeah. Just, they, no, just the head nod. We ain't had to say nothing more than that, yeah. and we were the best of friends with that head nod. Right. Because that head nod was, was a respect. Right. They, they acknowledge that I see you. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Or be driving by just to yeah, just to look. Boop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let you know. Flavor recognize flavor. That's a fact. We ain't gonna ride by. I'm not gonna grit because nah. he's joint hotter than mine's nah, today. Wasn't, we wasn't no, we wasn't no player hating. Man. You know what I mean? You know I mean, I mean, I mean, cause every time that 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 that, that and I'm still talking about it because I love that joint. Every time that red joint drove down the block. I said, man, I got to do something better. <laughs> I got to do something better. You know what I mean? And only way to do that yeah. was to put the Tessero so wide body on it. Yeah. It took 18 months for me to build the car to outdo his red joint. Yeah, but guess what? Hey, give me a picture of the red joint so they can see it when you nah, get the chance. Send me a picture so they see it with this joint. Yeah, and you know what? I ain't even put my wide my wide body 
uh, uh, picture out yet. But for Kevin, I'm gonna put my wide body. I got a nice picture of the wide body. And when I say wide body, the the, the, the wheels yeah, were course. 15 yeah. inches In deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Each rim cost me eight thousand dollars. Thirty-two thousand uh, 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 dollars just for the rims without the tires yeah. to outdo my man. You know what I mean? But you know, it, it, it was a fun game. You understand what I'm saying? It was a fun game, and you had to respect it. I, I'm just sad that the people's got on him and he had to tone it down. You know what I mean? And, and he didn't get a chance to come back at me, but I won with the wide body. You know what I mean? But he didn't get a chance to that, come that back. All, that all depends on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on who no, you ask. No, no, there you go. But, but what I'm saying is, you didn't get a chance to come back because you was I, already going to be father doing you. Yeah, but I'm I, didn't, keep I, him didn't, I didn't need a chance because with that car, I dropped the mic, man. That, yeah, you know I, I, that's what I'm like. Yeah, you know, man. And you damn sure did because yeah. that joint was fire, son. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm going to keep it 100. That was the hottest joint. Right. And the first real hottest joint to me, you know what I mean, that I seen in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, they didn't have convertibles back then. No, That's what they, no, they didn't even know. The car was a four-door car originally, so they had to modify the whole car. It was, the one whole, of, it was actually one of two. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And the 16 back. Yeah, there you, you go. You know what I mean? Come on, son. You know I know I told you I had my eye on it. Yeah, you, you did. I see. Yeah, I had my eye on it. Remember, Respect. I parked in the garage. Every time I pulled in, I had to look at it. So then I had to go get that my... That was some dumb shit we did. You know? Come on, man. We bought a bunch of cars and just put them in different garages. Just yeah. drive in one with one car, drive out. Yeah, we can only drive one car, but we got yeah. 30 cars. Yeah, yeah super You know super. what I mean? The 30 of them garages paying everybody yeah. got their mortgage. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? Except for our mortgage. We could have just bought one garage, put all our joints in one garage. How about that? You know what I mean? But then and it wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have been unique. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wouldn't have been you unique. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but man, you know... But I said, when he rolled up in, in, in the rooftop and they called it out, all that scenery, man, we could sit here and tell you stories, man. Like, I'm gonna give you one, you know what I mean? Sitting on the corner uh, 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 in front of the Blimpies. Blimpies ain't there no more, but that's 155th, whatever it done turned into 26 years later. Remember, we used to sit at Blimpies by the little payphone. Yeah, the payphones, they had those, you know what I mean? We sit in front of Blimpies and you just see the flyest cars walk by coming off the highway or they come from uh, uh, 125th side and go in the back by the Colonial, they bust the U-turn, and they come by real slow. Just for you to look at them and know that in, in our hood world, they made it. You know what I mean? That's true. They ain't got a house, but they got the hottest car. You know what I mean? So that's how Twisted we was. Let's get it real now so I'll let y'all know where we at now. So if y'all out there doing it today, y'all know don't do it that way because we did it yesterday and we ain't do it right. But we should have saved more to have more. You know what I mean? So that we would have been in a better situation for our grandkids today. You know what I mean? But everybody just drive by real slow in the flyest whips and everybody's just standing out there waiting for it. You understand what I'm saying? And they knew who we were by our cars. That's a fact. And ain't that crazy? This is before social media and all that. Yeah. Somebody can tell you, they, they, they can identify you for your car. For your car, and that's yeah. it. And, that, and, that, and, the, and the funny thing is, we was entertainment for the street because Think about what that represents, that people identified your car. Like, Before they identified it, you? Because your car was so unique. You, exactly. Again, you know what I'm saying? That uh -huh. It, it single-handedly identified you to a vehicle that, mm. you know, people could say, yo, I seen your joint come down, you know, whatever, whatever. I ain't catch you, whatever, whatever. Mm. And truth be told, a lot of times I wasn't even in the car, you know what I mean? Because I you always know? had, you know, my dudes would be driving my exactly. cars or whatever. But, you know? but that was, yeah, that, that was interesting, man. Mm. Harlem was a, is a, is a, was a very interesting uh, place at the time, man. Okay, remember the Apollo? Absolutely. Okay, now the Apollo, so I'm gonna give y'all another little fly story to go on with this and try to pick up a little pace a little bit. The Apollo, everybody go get their, I'm talking about, we're gonna take the 88 Apollo, you know what I mean, 89. Everybody go get their Dapper Dan outfit, everyone that's getting Kevin Charles money. Is going out, you know what I mean? You <laughs> get they, that you know what I mean? Come on, son. You know what I mean? Go get they yeah. Dapper Dan outfits with the Louis Vuitton and you understand what I'm saying? And then when we wrote, I'm talking about, this is not just dudes from Harlem. You know what I mean? We yeah. had dudes from the Bronx, Queens, pros. everybody. You know what I mean? Go get their dapper joint. And we all meet up at the Apollo and we go in there. We, now we want the biggest jewels. Right. You know what I mean? Because now you get to see us and not the car. You get right. to see us outside the car. So we stand up at the bar. They sell these little ass nips for $20 when you go get the whole big bottle for $20 at the Oasis up on Broadway. But in the Apollo, they crushing us. $20. They know what they're doing. They, see the, they, they, they know their clientele. And right? we sitting up there buying out the bar. Yeah, just because. I ain't even drink. You know what I mean? We, we didn't need to. You know what I mean? The whole yeah. point is you can do it. Production, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you want to let them know that we're doing it. I'm like, 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 all right, just give me anything you got. How many you got left? Right. You know what I mean? All right, give me all the nips. That's what they call the, the little Moet joint, the nips. Give me all the, give me all the, give me all you got. You know what I mean? But we all sitting up there and it's nothing but, I mean, and, 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 and when I do the movie, and they see 
everybody that's depicting us at a bar right. in the Apollo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where the money fish in that are, building, man. Dapper Dan, building, the outfits man. alone yeah. is a quarter million dollars. Yeah, the outfits that alone, we gave yeah. Dapper Dan a quarter million dollars. Yeah. That making me a jacket since I've been home. He, he throw me a jacket for all the money I spent with him. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And right now, I'll be teasing him. I talked to Dap on the phone and his grandson. Why don't you some pit footage from his grandson too? I talked to Dap grandson. I said, man, you make sure you let Dap know that I still got eight jackets in my closet, official Dapper Dan joints, Gucci, Fendi, you know what I mean? The M3 jacket, the wide body jacket, the, the twin turbo jacket, you know what I mean? The Bally's, you know what I mean? I got all of that, you know what I mean? Eight jackets at 5,000 a piece. Right. I got $40,000 worth of his jackets. Right now right now and i'm not gonna give it to him and i'm not gonna sell it to him yeah. you know what i mean what's gonna be worth something man. what yeah, exactly. not for me yeah. for my grandkids yeah, whatever whoever you know what right. i'm saying that's yeah. that's yeah. where the smithsonian come in <laughs> right. you know what i mean because i wore this that's god right. forbid i'll be dead you know what i mean and my great grandkid get a chance to have it if my grandkids don't right. sell it where they know that i wore it shout out to dap too man big very, shout out very, to dap very impressed with him yeah hey, come on son again all this money at the bar, man, and I mean, if you look at our jewels and, and what we win, that's a million dollars worth, and, and all this came out the street, and none of us knew what to do with the money. Yeah. Well, the part you left out about the Apollo on certain nights, especially Wednesdays when it was amateur night. Oh. What, you know what I mean? The kind of money, we took bags of money in there just to, huh, just to throw it throw up. It through, just throw it in. Oh, but what they call it now, making it rain? Yeah. Well, that <laughs> you know was I mean? way more than rain. Yeah, but, but, but it was thundering. thundering. We were thundering when we come up <laughs> yeah, in that joint. Exactly. Because you had all the crews up in there, we all had the bags just waiting. Yeah. When we see somebody we like, we throwing the and money up there. we didn't give a damn. If you threw some money, hey. we was going to throw some money. Hey. And the shit just, the, the show, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I don't even know who was doing what they was hey, doing. And you know what? That, that sand man, right. remember, used to go out and With sweep the brush, them off? Yeah. Sweep the people off yeah. when they did no good. Yeah. That son of a bitch, sand man, you owe me some money, man. Yeah. Sand man used to sweep that money and act like he's sweeping it in the back. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he, he, like he's sweeping the people off, but he getting some of them, you know, the money we doing. But, yeah. you know, these are the things that we did, man. I mean, you know, the Apollo, we had Carlos, big shout out to Carlos, Los Baltimore, you know, yeah. Carlos, you know, man. Yeah, his store was up near you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you got the barber shop yeah. right upstairs. We had the the the, 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 the sky him, box. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Hopefully, you know, he did his. He, he fighting. Good, you know what I mean? Good brother. Yeah, excellent sense. brother. Got and and Carlos never been in trouble a day in his life. Yeah. First time getting locked up. Had a uh, heroin sale. He ain't had no murders, no nothing. Right. And they gave him a life sentence, like uh, 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 for murder. They had nothing. Had nothing to do with. Well, I ain't gonna but, say but, nothing but, to do but, with but, him. Yeah, but you keep know? in mind when you're saying it, life sentences were pretty common. Mm -hmm. What? Back from 87 on to, to, to then in 2000. That was the norm. Right. If the feds pick you up, they starting right. with right. letting you know you're looking at life. Right. And they start telling you, whatever you give me, we can start chipping it off right. and going back down backwards. That was pretty common. You, you know what right. I mean? As crazy as that sound of it. But I'm going to keep it 100. And, and, and dudes that was down there in Virginia knew me and how I carried it down there. When I went down there in Virginia, I hired a lawyer down there. I ain't gonna say his name because he sued me because I spit in his face. You understand what I'm saying? And, and I'm not mad that I did it, even 20 years later. You know what I mean? Now I'm keeping it 100. You understand what I'm saying? Because when my people hired him, I told them I'm going to trial, get the uh, 3500 material, get the Jinx, get the Brady, and get your private investigator, and let's get ready to go to battle. That's what I hired him for. The man said he wanted $80,000. I don't have a problem with that. And that was cheap. That, that was cheap. I ain't had a problem with that. Now the man gets the money, and the first visit he comes see me. Say you cooperate. What information you got yeah, to give you me? Go. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. information for what? I, 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 I gave you my people information. They paid you already, right? Yeah, they paid me. No, but what information you got? I, I'm, I'm lost. What information is you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, let, let's get to this. What did they give you? Let me see what we got, what we fighting, what they got on me. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I didn't get none of that yet. I figured we could make a deal. You know what I mean? And and the man sued me and took me to court for assault for spitting in his face. I guess my my, my spit. No, that is assault. Though. You know what I mean? No, no, no. For the record. No, no, no. Don't know. That is assault. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Record. Yeah, but but I'm looking at life. Right. So he could have right, came right, back, right. I would spit on him again. Right. Because right. what he gonna give me that's gonna hurt my life right. sentence. You know what I mean? When I told you, dude, we fight. Right. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? We fight. There's no way that I'm gonna win. And only way to win is to get, you know what I mean, to go to trial and look for the flaws in the trial because we know they're going to railroad us. 
We know they're gonna lie on us. We know, and when they make those mistakes, it's us. That's where your lawyer's there. Bill, he right. take the notes, and you have an appeal lawyer in there, and they write down the notes behind what they're doing and the, and the appeal points that they want to raise. Right. My case got kept. My case got overturned. You already know, because right. they might, they don't know. My case got overturned in 1999. In 1999, my case got overturned, man. You know what I mean? I stayed in jail from 1999 to 2020. They even told me, my case is in 20 books saying it's overturned. You know what I mean? I should have been out of prison. They even told me I should have been out of prison. But they telling me, well, there's no uh, jurisdiction to let you in to give you the relief from the Supreme Court because it wasn't your case in front of them. You know what I mean? It was uh, Eddie Richardson from the Vice Laws. We use his case to deny your case, but the Supreme Court overturned your case in order to overturn his case. Yeah. But it was his docket number in front of them, not your docket number. So technical bullshit. So technically, he got he gets a life sentence off for the kingpin, but he's still, and the only reason he got that is because he still had life for conspiracy. Yeah. All I had was a kingpin. They made me a kingpin. I've never been arrested with selling drugs a day in my life. Well, I ain't get caught on either. Even on this case, you know what I mean? But even on this case here. The one charge they tried me with for selling drugs, I beat that. And that's another thing, you know, just to chime in right, you know, both of us didn't get physically caught with nothing. And I got charged with selling over two tons of, of, of cocaine and ain't, I, there was a gram introduced into evidence. Mm -hmm. So that's the feds for you. You know? Now, 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 my joint, a bunch of little dudes down in, the, in, in Virginia, they got caught with miscellaneous. I'm talking about literally four grams, six yeah. grams. I mean, toys. You know what right. I mean? I mean, shit that people get high with. Right. But this is my co defendant. And they got me sitting there listening to these Lily Pucis ass yeah. testimonies. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what saved me in the long run. Because they brought on so much of this little nonsense, yeah. nonsense that when they put the lead agent on the stand, my lawyer said, oh, yeah, that's who I want to get up there. So my lawyer said, okay, tell me what Unique's role was in the organization. He go to the chart board with my name at the top with everybody's names, and he acting like he a teacher. Class. Oh, Unique was up here, and he was in New York, and he was sending the drugs from Virginia down to his brother. Blah, 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 blah. And they said, okay, but what did Unique do down in Virginia? Oh, Unique was in uh, was at the top. You know what I mean? He, he's the man. He got everybody in New York. He know where all the drugs is. He owned Club 2000 in the middle of Washington High. Okay, but, but what did he do in Virginia? You know what I mean? Oh, no, you know, um, Unique, he had 30 cars in New York, and he's at the top, and we followed him when he was in New York. So the judge, is, just a big shout out to my judge, Raymond Jackson. Good judge. Is that the one who overturned the case? Yeah, that's the same one overturned because he knew it was bullshit. Right. So the judge stopped the thing and said, nah, stop that. Tell me, what did he do in Virginia? Why New York is not trying him for selling drugs and Virginia's trying him for selling drugs? And he said, oh no, he's in New York. And he said, I would stop it in New York. Tell me what he did in Virginia. Who brought drugs from Virginia? You know what I mean? And the agent said, oh no, none of these dudes. He, he sold 20 keys at a time. If you're not buying a duffel bag, that's where we get that from. You're not buying a duffel bag with 20 keys? Oh, you can't deal with you, need. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's sad to say we don't have anybody, you know, that we caught buying it from him. You understand what I'm saying? Because he haven't given up any names yet. He refused to cooperate. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So these are the games they're playing. So that now the judge said, well, you know what? To, to every testimony, uh, he said, well, if I tell you that I had 100 people came in here or 20 people came in here saying that they brought a key from him here and the nine ounces and six ounces and seven grams, what would you say? And the agent said, oh, they'll be lying. Right. Right. No, the agent, because right. remember, the agent is not allowed in the stand doing the trial. Right. So he didn't hear the testimony. Right. So he didn't know what was going on. Right. So he up there. But he know what his truth is. Right. A exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So after the agent did all of that and he breaks it down, so the judge said, hold up, so you're telling me that nobody down here brought drugs from you? He said, nah, he's not the kind of guy that you deal with. He's not a nice guy. He, right. he's, he, he's in New York. His brother's down here. His brother's approachable. You know what I mean? Um, his brother worked for him. He said the judge said, okay, but what did he do? So then the judge finally said, you know what? Disregard all the testimony you heard about people buying drugs from you. So then now, of course, my lawyer asked for a mistrial because they got me on a CCE, which is called Continual Criminal Enterprise. They got what they call Continual Criminal Enterprise. Like you continuously violate the drug laws. So they have something called a Continual Series. That's the three drug violations that you have to commit saying that you violated the law three times, like a series. You know what I mean? Over an act, right. Over an act. You know what I right. mean? Right. You know what I mean? Or felony. Right. So now we got the, uh, the, uh, 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 the thing, I don't even have a drug charge. So how am I kingpin? So the judge said, you know what? We wasted nine days, two weeks dealing with this. So we're going to move forward and you're going to have to take that up on appeal. So that'll give you something to study when you get to uh, <laughs> Lewisburg. You know That's I mean? how they do it. Just and he knew he was wrong. Right. 
But what I respect about that man, you know what I mean? What I respect about that man is I stood up and I told him, they asked if I had anything to say. And all they kept wanting to say is, man, you sold a lot. They said on the record, go get my case. Say, man, you sold a lot of drugs and I know you know a lot of big people. Only way you can help yourself, you know what I mean? Is to tell on where you was getting the drugs from, but we know you wasn't bringing it in the country. Then why you want to give me life if you're telling me you know I wasn't bringing it in the country? Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. So now only if I got something to say, I already knew it was a setup. So I said, you know what, you're right. I got to go to Lewisburg. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I got to go to Lewisburg. I got to figure out a way to fight my case, do what I got to do. You know what I mean? So I said, man, you know what, yo, your Honor, could you send me somewhere where I could further my education? You know what I mean? Because I can't read or write. And yeah, I want to press by I, that too. Much. You know, I, I want to be a better person right. so that when I go home, I can do something for my family. Right. Go read my transcript. Matter of fact, email me and I said it. I might put it up in this. That's probably you know a good what I mean? Thing to do. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put up in my transcript. Yeah, so that so that you see this joint here, son. Before you came, man. That's dope. Yo, because the prosecutor jumped up and said, Oh my god, this man thinks he's gonna see the streets again. He's the worst thing ever hit the streets of America. He's an animal and he's this and he deserved to die in jail and he don't understand. He's never going home. And the prosecutor going home. Right. And then the judge is telling me how my life is a waste. I crammed 26 years of crime. Uh, 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 a and, lifetime and, and for clarity, this is right before you come home now. This is the yeah. prosecutor still objecting to you being released. Yeah, the new so prosecutor. This is, this is presently. So yeah. People don't need to know this ain't your original. Yeah, exactly. This is currently. This yeah. is right before you actually got, you know, They some, still some fight. Relief. You right. know what I mean? And, and since I've been in there, I became a certified mentor, a uh, certified suicide uh, prevention specialist. I became a, um, a culinary arts cook, a uh, 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 mechanic. Uh, plumber, electrician, and I got the, I got all of that is on my website that people don't saw that signed the clemency and thank y'all for signing the clemency. Definitely. I did all of this from a man that couldn't read or write. I was 29 years old, couldn't sign my name. You know what I mean? I used to get, I used to get court papers and have to take the court papers because they we didn't have facts and all that. Right. I, listen to this, huh? I had to take the court papers. You know what I mean? And go for, and drive out there to LaGuardia Airport or Delta to Delta. Delta had a little side section where you could send a package on the plane and your people pick it up right. at the other that's part and wherever else you at. So if you leave your cell phone now and all that, you could send it yeah, and fact. it'll be on that flight. That's so it's fact. like somebody flying to bring it, but you don't have to pay for the body. Right. Back then it was like $48 that's to send fact. whatever well. that's you want. Fact. Exactly. Yeah, I used to have to send my court documents and whatever I, you know, what, like when I, I, I ain't going to get them. I had some serious charges too, but you know, but I got over that. But when them paperwork was coming, and I didn't want nobody in my business. Only person I trust is my brother, who was in Virginia. Only person know that I can't read is my brother, who was in Virginia. I had to drive to LaGuardia, take the joint over there to Delta Airport, air thing. And I had to bring somebody with me, and I'd be like, yo, I gotta make this call here. I need you to fill this out and send it to my brother. Cause I can't tell him I can't read or write. I can't even fill out the slip. That's crazy, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now they put it on, they send the joint down there on the plane. My brother get the joint, and then he called me, and read it to me. I did all that to, to, to be able to read what's on a piece of paper that came to my door. You know, even under those circumstances, you show how re resilient and resourceful you was, man. So that that in of itself tells a lot about your character, man, and what, what you, how you built. Because like you said, man, like, you know, anybody listening to this and who was running around with you back then was clueless to, because you mean you was, you was that on top of your game. Listen, I'm gonna give you one. I just bought the, uh, the green and white twin turbo. Just gutted it from Burgundy. Got the got the joint green, white with the rims sitting looking good. I got diamonds on. I got the cardigan on. All Liz Claiborne was my joint back then. You know what I mean? A little pink shirt with the button down collar, the light blue pants. You know what I mean? Light blue little shorts. You understand? I'm saying I'm giving y'all the outfit. You know what I mean? I might even give y'all a picture. I got pictures of this. You don't remember the cardigans? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? With the t-shirt. Right. You know what I mean? That was my style. My little jewel on, said the little sex and all that. Right. But I pull up on this girl up in Mount Vernon. You know who you are, girl. I pull up on in Mount Vernon, you know what I mean? And I got the little, uh, 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 the Alpine phone in the car right. where the joint play out. Right. But mind you, this is when they still got the G.I. Joe box, but in the box, the G.I. Joe box is mounted up onto the seat. Right. So when I pull up on the girl, I'm riding up there and she said, uh, get off at Summit Avenue. So I'm driving, and you know, I'm, like I said, I'm in the twin turbo. I got the T-tops out, 
got the bass rumbling, I'm playing that new joint, I'm, I wanna sex you up. Right. That joint from New Jack City, and I'm feeling like a character in a movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? The breeze hitting me, I'm saying, dog, yo, I'm giving it to you real. You know what I mean? I'm, yo. So look, so I'm, I'm cruising out and joint, the bass bumping. You know what I mean? Everybody looking. I mean, I'm behind a dude driving, and I'm going 60, 70 miles an hour, and I can see them catching whiplash. Where the hell that music right. coming from? Exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm flying up the highway, and I call her back, I said, yo, where you at? She said, oh, I told you to get off at Summit Avenue. I said, uh, she said, where you at now? I'm by the waterbed place by the Burger King. She said, oh, no, you got to turn around and go back. You're going to see Summit Avenue. You can get off and make it right. So I shoot back, and I'm past that. She said, where you at? I said, man, I'm over there by, uh, 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 what's that, the Yonkers Way Stadium. She said, how the hell you get over there? You know what I mean? I said, I ain't see no damn Summit Avenue. You know what I mean? She said, well, tell me what you see. I describe what I see. Then, uh, you know, I follow it around. And just when we get back to our house, because now I'm mad. Because I don't want up from point A to way over here at Yonkers Raceway. You know what I mean? Oh, way over on the Deacon. You know what I mean? I was over there like on the 80 on the parkway or some shit. So now when I get back over there, I just see them over there on the sideline laughing. But I'm keeping it 100. That way y'all learn, you know, and, and know who I am. You know what I mean? All this going in the movie too. Pitch for the movie. Remember that. Exactly. Netflix, you you better come get this. You know what I mean? Before, before I charge you more. But anyway, right? So now I shoot back and I get off on the girl block and I pull up at the house. But now I'm angry right. because she's angry because I'm cussing her out. Like, just stay on the phone and tell me where to go. <laughs> what is so hard about that? That's how I survive. You know what I mean? I can't tell I can't read. <laughs> right, so, you know what I'm so saying? You're going back. Yeah. And now I'm way around the corner somewhere. You know what I mean? So now I'm pissed. But I'm not going to lie, Kev. She was better than the mom. Sure yeah, man. So I went through all that just to get with this. Right. So now when I pull up at a house, she live in a nice big house with a grandmother. She come out with the one. I, she even came to Club 2002 and whispered in my ear. I'm going to tell you all about it in a minute. Speak, right? But look, no, but look though, right? Suck, I know you got to get ready to go. We push up on your time. But check it. So we're going to end this with this good one. So now when I pull up, she come out ass everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I mean everywhere. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there looking. Let's not forget. She got the baby powder on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget the baby powder, yeah, son. You know yeah, what the man? story wouldn't be a good story without mentioning without the, the baby, baby powder. powder. You know what I mean? Exactly. She got the baby powder, the lip gloss. You know what I mean? Yo, fuck, yo, no joke, son. And the blow pop. <laughs> she had the, yo, she had the lime green blow pop the to match the whip. You know what I mean? And she get in the joint. Look, she get in the joint, and she sitting there with that New York attitude all the way up there from Mount Vernon. That's why I ain't gonna say your name, so you gonna say I'm dissing you. And she take that lollipop, and she rolls her tongue around a lollipop and look at me, and she said, I wanted to tell her, get out my car. You know what I mean? But she was looking that good, and that lollipop looked scrumptious. So, <laughs> look, look, I'm keeping it 100. You know what I mean? Look, I'm keeping it 100. So look, so now, she get in the car, we ride to the corner, we ain't say nothing. I just turn the music up all the way. And I'm saying, I'm going to tear this ass up. You know what I mean? So now I'm chilling. All, all I want to do is get in the guts right now and let her pay for this shit. <laughs> Y'all give it a while. You know what I mean? Look, so I'm like, damn, I'm looking at her. And she see me looking. And she eating that lollipop. And she, mm, you know what I mean? And I'm looking at her. And I'm like, I'm going to hurt you so bad. As soon as we get to the corner, she screwed the whole night up. What she do, man? No, she screwed the night up. What she do? She pointed to the sign and said, nigga, they go Summit Avenue. <laughs> what, you can't read? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, son. She said, oh, hey, she called me a nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> she should have put that nigga word to bed. Yo, that bitch said, yo. She said, nigga. No, no, with attitude. Nigga, they go the sign, nigga. What, you can't read? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. Hey, yo, true story. Yeah, clearly got to be. Yo, as good, make shit up. listen, <laughs> as good as that lollipop was looking in her mouth, she f***ed everything up. I put it in reverse, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then now, now, oh, forgive me, I was young. You already know what I told her, son. Yeah. Bitch, get the f*** out. <laughs> get the f*** out. Oh, Take your man. lollipop with you, you stupid mother. <laughs> You gonna disrespect me like that? If you figure out I can't read, bitch, you don't tell me you know I can't read. You smart motherfucker. You know what I mean? Play dumb for once. No wonder you up in Mount Vernon. You should have been from the hood. Then you'd have known to let it ride. Then you'd have got some of this tonight. I never talked to that girl again. Then when I opened up Club 2000, I'm up with Club 2000, and uh, 
I, I got the pictures from it too. I might even put the picture up because it's a group of girls in it, so y'all gotta decide who it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe, hey, because I'm quite sure the wrong right. chick gonna try and claim it to be the center yeah, of the story. This you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so now I got them in there, so when she come, she come give me a hug and she whisper in my ear, I didn't know you couldn't read. <laughs> I said, bitch, I rode up and down that motherfucking highway. <laughs> Yo, you know what time this is unique, the Harlem legend, the icon, the kingpin. Make sure y'all check out my YouTube channel at Unique Maker Audio. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like my joints. Make sure you comment on the joints and make sure you share this joint. All right. Make sure you hit the notification button so you notify when the videos come in. You don't want to miss it. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Unique Mecca Audio got it going on. All right. Hey, make sure you get this joint. It's bananas. A roaring Harlem at a roaring Harlem dot com. You ain't going to find another better book. Yo, get this joint while supplies last, because I'm telling you the best book you're going to read. Five stars. It's crack. Okay.